Hello guys, welcome back to the GCE Math panel, question four, Pure Math Mechanics and Statistics Paper 2, 2018. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to leave your comments. We equally beg on you to share our videos on Facebook and on YouTube. That will be our own small way to promote us and tell us that our content is good and that we should make more. The content might not help you directly, but it's going to help a brother, a friend, or somebody who's in trouble somewhere and is in need. So we are begging on you to share our content, share on all the social media platforms, and to equally subscribe to our channel. If you don't subscribe to our channel, you are actually not supporting us. So as we pray that God should bless you in your exams, may you also support us in our work, so that we can actually do the best that is bested for you is best. So this question reads, find the four, first four terms of the expansion y minus two x always the power a half in ascending powers of x, stating the range of values for which the expansion is valid. Sub so two, find the values of x for which y equals two log x base two and y plus four equals two equals log two x base two. Guys, don't forget to visit our website, www.gcmasspanel.com. That is where we have the solutions for most of our videos. Most of our videos are not on YouTube, so you equally have to go to our website to get them. And on this website, you have tutorials to prepare for your GCE. You have uh, solutions, you have notes, you have past questions. You can download everything from our website for free. And our sc online school in preparations for GCE begins every year in August. So you can always go to our website and you join our WhatsApp group from which we are going to direct you to join these classes. These classes are free for now, but maybe in future things might not be the same. So this question, let's uh, tackle this question. The first four terms of the expansion, one minus two X raised the power a half in ascending powers of X, stating the range of values for which the expansion is valid. Now note that with this particular question, the power that we have here is a half. So we will not be applying the Pascal's triangle. So we have to do it directly. Pascal's triangle will not really help here. As you know, the Pascal's triangle is very good when we have natural numbers. So one minus two X to the power a half will be uh, approximately equal to, because you are working with the first four terms. We, uh, the first term, our A here is one, our B is minus two X and our, C, our N is a half. So this will give us, one to the power a half, which is just one. Now plus for the second term, we bring down the power, the power is a half into a now to the power n minus one. Since this one is always one, we can just uh, neglect it, okay? You, must, you are not required to uh, emphasize putting it as one because it's one. So this term now minus two x in bracket. Now the next term will be a half. So this power a half into a half minus one that's minus a half times this term now minus two X to the power two now, all this on two factorial. Now this first term here was on zero factorial, but zero factorial is one, so there is no need to put it. This second term here is on one factorial, but one factorial is one, there's no need to put it. But from this third term, we have two factorial, okay? So with two factorial, now we have to put two factorial, because two factorial is not equal to one. So we will see at the third term now for the fourth term, we will have this power, uh, which has been brought down a half into a half minus one minus a half, minus a half minus one again, minus three on two times uh, the term now minus two X to what power now? Minus two X to the power uh, three. All this on how many factorial? Three factorial. So if you look at this term here, this term and the factorial always match. That is why I've put it this way minus two X the power two on two factorial, minus two X the power three on three factorial. This first one was minus two to the power uh, one on one factorial. Here is the power zero on zero factorial. So take note of that, so plus that, 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 the one just the first four terms. So if you simplify this, you're going to have one uh, minus X minus a half X squared minus a half X cubed. So these are the first four terms of this expansion. And this expansion is valid for the absolute value of minus two X to be strictly less than one, okay? Now somebody asked, what if the value of this A here, if we do not have one here? If we do not have here one here, we will have minus two X over this constant should be strictly less than one. So for example, if we had something like uh, three minus two X, then we look at the absolute value of minus two X on three less than one. So here, this is going to give us Absolute value makes the number positive, the absolute value of two X less than one. 
So x will lie in the interval from minus a half to plus a half. So that is the range of values for which expansion is valid. Now, please, if you have any questions on this more, uh, go to our YouTube channel or to our website, you will see questions on binomial expansion. This topic has been treated very well from the beginning to the end. Just go to YouTube and type binomial expansion on that GCE math panel and you see it. Or you type binomial expansion and then you continue with GCE math panel, you see, the, you see the video. Or you go to our website, you equally see it there. It has been tackled so much. Uh, now, the second part of the equation reads y equals 2 log x base 2, and that's equation 1. And y plus 4 is equal to log 2x base 2. So we make one the subject of the formula and substitute in the other. So from equation one, y equals that, we are going to take that value and substitute in equation two. So in equation two, we will now have um, two log x base two to plus four to be equal to log a two x base two. And we know that log two x base two is the same as log two base two plus log x base two. And log two base two is one. So we are left one plus log x base two. We are going to replace that here. And we have two log x base two plus four to be equal to one plus log x base two. So we bring like terms together and the value of x be equal to one over eight. We don't need the value of y because we are being asked to find the values of x for which that is equal to that. So if you had to solve for y, if you're looking for x here, you will just be wasting time. And note that in an exam, time or speed and accuracy are the key determinants of any exam. Just like they say that in Kung Fu, in the world of Kung Fu, speed and accuracy determines the winner in an exam. You have to be fast and you have to be accurate. There is no need to be fast if you are not accurate. And if you're accurate, you cannot be fast. There is no need. These two have to go together. We wish you the best as we prepare for your exams. To have this complete video, guys, we don't put all of our videos on YouTube. Go to our website, www.gcmassmind.blogspot.com, and you have this complete video. Equally, if you click on this a link that is on screen on top of this video, somewhere around this video, you are going to be taken to that website where you have the complete correction. Equally, if you click on the link below in the description of this video, you equally be taken to the website page exactly where the corrections are. We equally have tutorials, past questions, and a lot that have been answered. I, I implore you to visit that website and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. May God bless you as prepare your exams. Let's meet again in question number five. Bye-bye.